Hi, it's Megan. I have decided to do a video I've wanted to do for a really, really long time. And I haven't done it because it's hard. It's really hard. I decided to do a video on how to choose red lipstick. And I did a Google search before sitting down with my box of reds, which are sadly not all the reds I own. And I actually didn't really like anything I found. But there's like 800 something like, things, articles or anything on this topic, so it could just be me. Um, I'm wearing Rita right now by NARS, it's one of the Audacious lipsticks, and the reason I chose this one to wear, because I am not gonna put these all on, I'm just gonna swatch them on my arm, which is gonna look like a horrible suicide by the end of the time I'm done with it, but that's what the wipes for. Um, reds do stay though. I wore red Rita because I think it is such an unusual shade in that it is the most purely red shade I have found personally that also looks really good on. It's not that there aren't other really red shades, but when I first got Rita and it said just said classic red, I started swatching it against all my other reds. And when I did that, I started realizing that even the ones that say like your classic red typically have some kind of an undertone to them. So, and I'm playing around with lighting. So if you don't like the lighting in this video, please let me know. It's just, I like the natural light with colors. I just think it shows a lot better than the indoor light. And, um, but I don't like it too much. So this is Rita. And let's put a little bit on. I will not be able to swatch all of these outside. So I'm going to leave that right up there just to compare some of the others. Um, but before I get to all my other reds, I'm going to start with just a few other things that I have on. So I also like to do black eyeliner with red. I like to do gold eyeshadow. I wasn't going to start here, but let's start here. Gold eyeshadow, taupes, smoky light grays. Um, at nighttime, I can get away with a smoky eye and red lips, um, but I don't like wearing too much makeup with red lipsticks. I, For me personally, um, I do a lot better if I kind of go easy on the other stuff. So what I have on right now is I've got a highlighter, and I have a champagne kind of highlighter. Champagne's like gold by MAC. This one is Lightscape, which was a limited edition mineralized skin finish, but I've got that just on my eyes, and then I've got it right on the top of my uh, cheekbones. But when I do red, I will typically do something this light and maybe add a little bit of black eyeliner. And I just didn't feel like doing black eyeliner today. So let's start with undertones. Was there another product? Oh, and then mascara is key for me if I wear red. If I don't have mascara on and I wear red lipstick, does not work at all. Just a personal preference. So those are two must-haves. Kind of light eyes or at nighttime smoky eyes, maybe a highlighter, and then mascara. So the first thing to look at when looking at red lipsticks is undertones. And so this is both what your whole look is going to be like and what are your undertones. So what I mean by what your whole look is going to be like, I have a really orange red lipstick that matches a really orange red dress I have. That works. If I were to do a pink red with that orange red dress, it would be a disaster. If I do an orange red, I can wear blue eyeshadows sort of, if I wanted to, but I can wear in that family. Um, but if I wear like purple, it's gonna be a disaster. So there's like certain things that you wanna keep your whole makeup look consistent, tone-wise, and I'll get to blushes in a minute. Um, but there's also the undertones of the skin and the kind of red that you are looking for. So I've got a million and one reds here. Well, okay, that's a, that's a lie, that's an exaggeration. But the, essentially what you're looking at is there are pink-based reds, which have like that pink undertone. There are orange-based reds, obviously the orange undertone. Blue-based, which I, you know, I, see, I know it when I see it, but it's really hard for me to explain what a blue-based red is. It's supposed to have just that little blue in the color, which makes your teeth look whiter. And like I said, I can see it. It really does look almost blue tinted. But whenever I think blue and red, I think, doesn't that have to look purple? But that is a whole other look. Whereas something like the new Tom Ford Black Dahlia is almost a purplish red, if that makes sense. I didn't bring that in here because it's more of a plum than a red. But if you were to go super, super, super on the plum spectrum, that would be a plum based red or a red blaze red base plum. Um, and then there's all kinds of just variations on this. So I've got a black, a couple blackened reds. Um, when I wear most reds, I can get away with them, but that's usually blondes with kind of 
uh, my skin tone, which is slightly warm, can get away with more red colors than most. But I do believe that everyone can wear a red. It's just a question of what your undertones are. So my daughter, for example, has much pinker undertones to her skin tone. She cannot, cannot wear an orange-based red, especially a very orange-based red. Um, so it's really important to try different reds and see which ones look good on you. Blue-based and neutral reds should look well on all people. Um, okay, I'm going to start swatching reds in a minute, but I have a couple more points first. The finish. Do you want matte, satin, opaque, sheer? And I've got a variety of different ones. The mattes are going to look a little retro sometimes, a little bit more classic. Um, but there's also brightness. How light and dark is it? So I have certain reds. I never thought about wearable reds like for every day until I was in a Sephora once and someone said no no you can't wear that and I have the one that I can't wear she said you need a wearable red and I was given one that was a little bit more muted so there's like super bright reds and I actually have a couple of the Urban Decays um, Anarchy no not Anarchy 69 and F-Bomb um, Anarchy is a fuchsia and then I have kind of more muted reds as well which are just more wearable during the daytime or unless you like a really bright look um, what kind of a look are you aiming for? Are you looking for kind of a classic red look? Are you looking for something a little bit edgier? Uh, what suits your style? And then finish. How did you want to shine? I already said finish, but do you want to shine to it? Do you want the matte? Do you want bright? Okay, so anyway, those are the different things to think about when looking at reds. And so I'm going to show a couple reds, and then I'll show a couple blushes that I like with reds and talk about blush because... When I was looking online, I read all these things about how important mascara is, and it's so important. I totally agree with that, but I do think actually blush is more important. So, let's start with a very, in my opinion, wearable red, just every day. So this is a Gucci, and this is the moisturizing finish, and this is their classic red. And it's a little bit closer to Rita, but you can see it's got a little bit more of a pink tone to it. And this one is not too bright. It's got a nice sheen. It's a very wearable everyday red. Okay, now I have a metallic red. So you can get reds that are matte, you can get reds that are sparkly, but you can also get a few mattes that are just metallic. And I had to have another really pretty one from MAC, but this one right here is from Lipstick Queen. And let's look at some of the mattes. I'm a huge fan of the mattes. So what I really liked, um, the MAC Retro Matte Collection of Reds has some really great ones. So this right here is Dangerous. This is a very orange-based red in a matte texture. Then we have the very classic Riri Woo, which is like the Ruby Woo, which is more of a classic kind of a blue-based red right there. And the blue-based reds are considered often a little bit more cool to neutral toned. I'm going to have to take these off in a minute because I'm starting to look bad. And then uh, I've got two that are really on the pink. Relentlessly Red, which I think is more of a pink, but it says red. But this is a very pinky red. And the, the, what counts as red really blurs. This is another one. This is all fired up. It's another, a little bit more red, but more pinky colors that are almost on the red side. I have uh, fewer pinky reds just because they tend to look less uh, attractive on me, honestly. But I do have a couple. Um, a good pink red is actually 69 by Urban Decay. Now here we're getting into, these have a slight kind of a sheen to them. This one to me is just too bright for every day. They both are actually. So this is a pinky red. To me that looks almost pink, but that counts as a red. As far as um, liners, I try to use liners with red. I really do try um, because red stain, which means they tend to last longer, they're more pigmented, and they look like they're wearing better just because there's a stain left as they wear away, um, so you don't necessarily see the blotches. But uh, a lot of reds also bleed, um, they don't wear evenly, they can feather a little bit. I actually prefer a clear liner with most reds. Some brands like Urban Decay or NARS or whatever have actual liners that match the color and those I think are great. Sometimes they don't actually match perfectly. I've seen that a lot with MAC. Um, but I prefer the sheer eyeliner, uh, lip liner. So this right here is really bright. So this is F-Bomb, which I just, I honestly can't wear it every day. It's a really pretty color and if you really want one of those 
Wow Reds. It is a gorgeous color. Um, now I'm going to go to some darkened reds. I thought I put Gash in here. Okay, I put Gash in here. Gash is a blackened red, and this one has a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of sparkle to it. So Urban Decay. And you can see, it's almost got like a purple, plum, black undertone to it, but the black is really what is a darkened, blackened red. Then Ardency in Love Cat is a darkened red with a blue undertone. Here it is. I'm not sure I'm loving the light, but we'll see how it works out. There it is. So you can see it's a little bit lighter than Gash, but it definitely has that little blackened look to it. I have another dark red. Kevin D has a really beautiful motorhead, super dark red, but I just don't have it. My daughter has it downstairs. This one is hexagram, another matte, and again, kind of a blackened, blackened red. Now we're going to go all the way on the dark, and then I'm going to start going with some others. This I love. This is one of my favorite lipsticks right now, Besame's Noir Red. And this almost isn't a red at all. It's so dark. But it's considered a red. I love this color. And let's take these off. Then I'm going to go to some sheer, more light ones. I am not a big fan of lighter sheer reds um, with glosses, it's an Urban Decay. I find that they bunch up on my lips and I have like a bunch of red in one area and um, uh, not red in the other. So if you want to add a gloss just to kind of add that sheen to the red you're wearing, I'm all for it. For me personally though, I just find the bleeding, the, the bunching, all of it with the reds just doesn't work so well for me. Um, Stilla has two more sheer reds, the Color Bomb lipstick and Lipstick Queen also does some really pretty sheer reds. These again, I get a little bit of bleeding, so with these, a little bit more sheer, I need to wear a sheer liner. So this one right here is, let's see which color is this, this is Ruby, which they call a deep red, but because it's kind of sheer, it doesn't go on quite as dark. I find this actually, the reds of the sheers wear better on me than most other sheers, which is a nice thing. Um, but I do need to be careful about the bleeding a little bit. I don't have a problem with red on my teeth for some reason, but some people do as well. And so this one is an orange red. I thought it'd be fun to show. It's a poppy red again from Stilla. And this one is Valentina. It's another orange red. It's almost, so poppy usually means like an orange red. Red with orange. This is more orange than red, but it still counts as a red. Poppies always surprise me when I see them because they're always so vivid and orangey, and I'm expecting something a little bit more red. Um, I really like this. This is kind of a lighter red, and I put this in here. I think that drugstore brands can do really, really well. Maybelline and Revlon, for me personally, have done amazing on the reds, but um, this is called Siren and Scarlet, and this is a matte by Maybelline, one of the creamy mattes that came out. This color reminded me more of Love's True Kiss by MAC, which was a sold out um, Maleficent Red, and um, I love the color, I couldn't find it, it was more a wearable lighter red. This one doesn't have the same sheen to it, but it does have the same color, which I haven't been able to find anywhere else. Then I have Audrey, which is another NARS Audacious. The reason, this is not considered a red seemingly by NARS, on me it's really red, I think it's like a berry red on me. But you can see it looks almost berry on my arm, but when I wear it, it goes very red. And then I have two last, just really classic Lancome reds. And I wanted to include them, and then I've got some blushes. I wanted to include them because if you don't know where to start on the reds, I think these are just super easy. And uh, Smashbox also, Legendary, and there's another one. I forget what it's called. One's a matte dark, and one's just a lighter red that are really wearable. So Rouge Saint Honor, 181. This is a darkened red. I can actually wear a color like this in the daytime because it's a darker red, but it's more in a neutral tone. And it just it has a soft look with the finish and um, the wearability of it. It's, it's a really great darker red to wear every day. And then the other one is 170 Sequence of Love. This again is another really good red. This one's a little bit more pink, maybe orange. Why do I always think it's pink? It's definitely not as deep a red, but um, 
This again is another really classic red. It's got a nice sheen to it. It's not a heavy texture. Easier to wear in the daytime. Blush. So anyway, those are just some reds, some examples. I'm not sure how great this video is going to be, so I would really love to get feedback. Because I can always shoot another red video and delete this one. It's really hard when you want to show tons and tons of colors at the same time. And there's no way I'm organized enough to remember, like, from swatches when I take pictures, which one's which. It's not going to happen. The last thing I wanted to talk about is blush. And the reason that that is so important is because, for me, I cannot wear certain shades, period, unless I'm really careful with my blush. And with reds, I tend to like, this one's called uh, Bareness by MAC, and I think this was a limited edition. But this is almost a brown with just a little bit of a pink, peachy pink undertone. More pink than peach, but it's got kind of that almost not hard, not able to tell. I really like brown toned um, uh, blushes with any kind of an orangey or just classic red. And I do have one on right now. Got a couple here. Blunt. This is another one of my favorite with reds. And this is, it's like a deep brown with a reddish undertone to it. And so I just put it on really lightly. If I'm doing, just really lightly, if I'm doing um, kind of the purple undertones, I need to use a plum undertone blush. And if I'm doing the pink undertones to the red, I can do soft pinks. I can't do really pink. I have to do a really soft pink. And with the orange tones, I can also do a soft peach or a soft orange toned blush. Very, very subtle, but it needs to have that certain richness and undertone to it. Or I can just use a bronzer. The other one I think is really great for using with reds is the Cheek Pop by Clinique Ginger Pop. And I really love this when it came out. Because if I go with a pure red blush, you can see it's got more almost a reddish undertone, but it's got a little bit of that bronzer thing going on there, and it's a little bit softer. If I go with a pure red blush, I look like a clown. Honestly, I've been able to get away with it a little tiny bit if I really, really blend it out, but it's not the best look for me. For someone who has much deeper skin tones than I do, with a red lip, it'll be gorgeous, but I think for most of us that are kind of on the fair, and I would say half, maybe to two-thirds, you know, fairness down, um, red's a tough color to pull off. You can do it. Be really careful. And to pull it off better, it's better if I put it on really lightly and mix a little bronzer in. So anyway, this was my attempt at kind of a tutorial in how to pick the right red. So we went through what are your undertones? Are they cool or warm? Do you want a blue-based or more neutral red? Um, do you want... What kind of a look? What kind of a finish, really? Do you want kind of a more retro, a more classic, a more edgy? Do you want bright? Do you want kind of muted, daytime? Do you want a sheer? Do you want a, a satin with a little bit of a sheen? Do you want that matte? Um, I think I just said brightness, but I'm going to repeat brightness because that to me is just such a key thing. Like in the summertime when it's really hot, maybe in Florida, something really bright really pops or if you've got darker skin, but it might not be the best if you've got lighter skin for the daytime. Blush, absolutely, I need to you balance out a strong lip with not dark cheeks, but a stronger blush that's really well blended. Then the eye makeup, if I don't go for the full on smoky with smoky eye with the red lip at night, then I really do next to no makeup with red, maybe black eyeliner, a little highlighter, maybe a little bit of a light eyeshadow, just because it's such an easy get ready in a second look and it just looks so polished and classic and put together. Do you want a day or night look? I didn't say that earlier. But one of the things I really like about res, having done a bunch of videos, is how great they look in pictures. So they're perfect for things like weddings or whatnot. The thing is that it's hard to find a red that doesn't show up on other people as kisses. And also I find it's hard to get a red lasting through dinner, although other people have a better um, experience with that. For me, if I'm going out to dinner, if I were at like a wedding or something, I don't know that I would want the red just because of that factor. But if you can reapply, red's beautiful in pictures and videos. And then I think one thing that's really great about reds, besides the fact that there's such a variety of just the most amazing colors, it seems easier to make a good red than a lot of other colors, 
a lot of the drugstore brands have amazing reds as well. Anyway, that's my red video. Please subscribe on YouTube, comments on reds you'd like. I would love to hear. I have other reds I skipped, but I have too many reds. And um, I've now started putting my book, Masks, which I'm putting up chapter by chapter, which is about makeup and the masks we wear on YouTube a little bit faster. So I've put up 10 chapters and we'll have 11 up soon. So I'll put a link to that in the description.